Hey guys, it's Anne. I have this little heating pad around my neck. I have this really bad headache today, like really, really, really bad. So I'm pampering myself with a heating pad and some lemon juice and um, hoping it goes away. But in the meantime, I wanted to take you on a little tour of my living room, dining room and kitchen because I have undecorated for Christmas and I have cozied it up for winter. And it's super cute. And so I wanted to take you through, show you some tips of what I did and give you some inspiration as you do the same thing. So my inspiration started in Michael's, believe it or not. I was there right before Christmas. They had 70% off their Christmas sale and I found some things in their spring line. So I thought it'd be fun to show you what was in the spring line. And that's what gave me the beginning of my inspiration for my winter line. Also, I went to some really cool stores after Christmas and picked up a few things that were technically on their Christmas list, but work really well for winter decor. Sit back, relax, and glean some inspiration out. Thanks for joining me. All right, so when I went into Michael's, the first thing I noticed was they still have a lot of signs, but everything is more gray-based. It's like this charcoal gray and a lot of rustic wood. And you can tell right now that they really don't have a lot on the shelves. At least when I went in there, it's probably stocked full now. But they had a 40% off sale, so that little candlestick would be $24.99 minus the 40%. Yeah, $24.99 for that, minus the 40%. So, you know, everything is kind of highly priced, but then you get the 40% off. And this is what really caught my eye, is those really great bird cages. I loved the shape of them. I love the size of them. They have this, hu they're huge, and they're absolutely beautiful. So when I saw them, I knew that one of them had to go home with me. I also adored these little suitcases. I think they would look really great in any farmhouse, primitive country kind of home. And they were $34.99 minus the 40%. So you can see there's a lot of really great stuff there. It was just that that bird cage really caught my attention. I had to have it. I love their general store line. It's, it's fun stuff. You know, Michaels has really done well with their home decor, but you want to go on sale. You certainly don't want to catch it when it's full price. And uh, they're kind of like Kohl's in that way. They, they jog it up and then they take it down. So um, this was another thing I really loved were those boards that you could write on, those, those cutting boards with the paper. Oh, that was so cool. I didn't come home with one of them, but I really loved it, and I think it would look great in any kitchen. It was also, though, it's, it's, it's expensive, and it's also expensive to replace the paper. They had those recipe holders, recipe book holders. Those were really cool, too. And then these plate racks, which I thought were wonderful. So they had a lot of stuff in this general store line that appealed to me. And then of course, if you go over on the other side, they've got a lot of things for the laundry room again. So they're thinking about cleaning, they're thinking about New Year's and decluttering. So they're showing a lot of enamelware and uh, that's always fun in the kitchens and um, the laundry room. So they had quite a bit of that, super big clothespins that you can hang on the wall and hang things on. Um, bathroom signs are becoming all the rage I don't really know why, except that I think people have done so much at all their other rooms, they're really hitting the bathroom. So what I found here though were those baskets. They were really nice, I love them. And I love the rustic texture and the color of them. And speaking of that, check these out for the wall. I love them. So a couple of them went home with me too. And think about blue and white. A lot of blue and white they were showing kind of French kind of clean reminds me of my little Dutch heritage with the blue and the white Delft and it just really was fresh and pretty to me so if you like blue and white they had a lot of really cute things over there at Michaels and you might want to check them out the baskets pillows 
it was really cute. I was I was really getting kind of excited about all the things that they had there in their spring line. I could see a use for a lot of those things. Of course, I didn't buy any of them, but I did glean some inspiration. I have some blue and white plates, and you will see them in my tour. And speaking of tour, why don't we get into it now? All right, so here it is. We're starting with that shelf. That was all green, if you remember. It had a bunch of Northwood Santas on it, and a tree, and a lot of greens and garland. And I decided to clean it all up, clean all that out. And if you can tell, I have this really great, it's like fake sticks and they're full of um, glitter. And I picked them up at a local store. They were $40, but I got them for $10 each strand and I love them. So I've got them sitting there and they, they pick up just enough twinkle. I kept one round of the twinkle lights just to keep giving me some of that light. You know, in the winter, it is just so dark at 4, 4.30. And so I wanted to bring more in than just the candles. Here I have that basket right above it. Now I've changed that out twice and I have two different things there. I found another place for that basket. But I thought, let's go with some angels. Um, you know, angels can also be like cherubs and can be like valentines. And I had these valentine hearts that are made of wax and so i thought that would be fun and then i have a book there right now i've already moved that since i photographed this door so you'll see some things that are different because even here now the little angel is leaning against the little twigs but i do love the glitter and the shiny brightness that this is giving me for this month but it's not Christmas, it's decidedly winter, it's icicles, and while things are kind of dark and dreary outside, you can see I'm kind of hating those pillows now, so the pillows have to come out, they have to go in the barn, and everything has become neutral. Really neutral and really cozy. So that's what we've got here. The red is out, and the neutral, and the cozy is in. All right, and here you see my inspiration. It was that bird cage, and I put it on that great antique sled that I picked up at Bernat Antiques this year. I love that sled. I thought it would be great on the table. It's got scale, and then to put that bird cage on top of it with scale was such a great idea. I stuck those candles in there, and then I used an idea that I got from my friend Carrie in her beach house tour where she used sweaters on top of the candles and I used actually a leg warmer that I cut up and I stuck it on top of the candles. It made the candles cozy. They are just cheap plastic candles that I got at Job Lot. They have a remote so I can just click them on and off. And then I have another one of those, those branches with glitter around there to catch the light. So I'm really loving that. And of course, Tom keeps the fires stocked and that keeps our room really cozy in the winter. I also left up those two Christmas trees because they just have the white lights and they really do provide a lot of light in the middle of the winter when I need it the most. I just couldn't take it down yet. So let's just take a look at what I did on the shelves here. I warmed it up with some of my woven blankets that I picked up at Woodstock Country Shop. And then I've got some antique pictures here. These were given to me, my uncle gave them to me. Um, my aunt had had them framed years ago and they are relatives on my dad's side and they mean a lot to me, you know, great, great grandmas. And I put some old books on there. My snowshoes are back there and some antlers. So it gives you kind of that eclectic Northwoods and yet comfy, cozy feel of family watching over you, having people that you belong to, and just a reminder to seize the day because in the middle of the winter, we just really kind of want to hide and hibernate. That's the cabinet that Tom built for me that hides the TV. I love that cabinet. And then again, I brought out more antique pictures. So this is another one from my aunt. And if you look at that big picture on the bottom, my grandma is sitting there. And what I did was I extracted her from the scene and made a portrait of her and colorized it. And I really love how that looks in this house. Doesn't it look great? So I think that bringing in those loved ones from the past really helps warm up your house and a lot of cable knit, white, coziness, all just says winter. 
I just, yeah, it's just really working for me. I sit a lot on that couch and just snuggle under the blanket in front of the fire and enjoy all of the twinkling lights that are happening in this room. So I can see that the one red I didn't get out was the sweater on my dog. Look at that. <laughs> but I'm liking also the black and white pillow covers that flank that fireplace. You can see I don't have nice matching furniture. This is all secondhand furniture. But you really use what you have, you know? Um, you don't go out and buy new things all the time. You use things, it gives it that lived in look. And here you see more of my antique pictures from my family and I love them. This is all from my dad's side. And it's the shiny, I think, that's really working for me right now. It's, it's that shine that reflects off of the little battery operated candle lights and it brings some life into the room. Else everything could be really dreary and really dark. Here is one of my favorite parts of the room. It's that mantle. Isn't that whimsical and bright and shiny? Look at that picture. That's a whimsical picture I took of my daughter in a very shiny frame with a shiny pewter and lots of candles going on over there. It's got a hint of primitive. It's got a hint of whimsy. And it's just really a great focal point for the room. I love those glittery branches. And then I have my pussy willows from last year in there. So it's a sign of spring, but it still looks wintry, and yet it looks like hope. And those angel wings remind me of cherubs, so they make me think about Valentine's Day. And the tree, of course, had to stay there. And that picture next to the tree, that's painted by my great-grandfather. So again, bringing in those sentimental things into this room where I'm gonna be spending an awful lot of time in this winter. And now here we go to the kitchen. You can see that I took all the red and black buffalo check out of there. I took the wreaths out of the windows and I actually put the wreaths that were in the windows in the dough bowl. It's on a really great runner, gray flannel kind of type runner. And then I've got these candlestick holders that I picked up at Target and the bullseye section. And they're three bucks each, gray, I really like them. And then I put my cheap candles on there and I put leg warmers around the candles. And you should see us going through our drawers looking for all our leg warmers trying to warm up the house. So it's um, cute, it's giving me some brightness, but it's definitely winter and not Christmas. And then over by the windows, we also have candles there and we recently found mittens to put in those candles so they're looking very different now too but again we just wanted some of that light as we're looking out in the dreary weary winter so then over next to that i have um, another one of those angel wing candlestick holders and a little poofy thing on it and made it just kind of a cherub area very valentine's and yet winter put my primitive tree over there in the corner. The tree that I had there was very, it was very Christmassy. So I put my pine cones and my snowballs in there and then threw up one of those baskets right on the window. And I love the way that looks. This is something I picked up at an after Christmas sale, teeny little house. And then I had my bird cage. I stuck a cherub in there and a little lantern and I hung that from the window. I'm really loving the way that looks too. So it's pretty Valentine's, it's pretty um, garden-y looking. Grabbed a picture I had in the other room, stuck it in there of the dog laying on the couch. And then here I have a couple pillows, cozy pillows on my couch. I let the regular fabric shine there. It looks more Valentine's with a little bit of blushy pink color. And then I changed out the lampshade on that light so it matches this one that's what's going on in my kitchen. So the effects of Christmas hit my dining room pretty hard as you can imagine. I started throwing things in there and not really having any idea of what I wanted to do in there. But I finally figured it out. So I'm trying this new lens. You can see that glare, it's not a ghost. Uh, this room I decided to go very light with and um, so I brought in some light pillows, I brought in all my wood tones, and I brought in my light colored tablecloths so that it would just be light because everything is so dark in the winter. And then I threw out a lot of anything that was wood, anything that was worn, my pewter, 
put on candles, and basically just went with it. Now, I keep changing what's on that door. Sometimes I change out that tree, and so you'll see that later it's gonna look different. That, that tree and that wreath are not there anymore. Now it's a different tree, and it's a star on the door. But most of what I tried to do in there was just bring in those white pillows and bring in that light. And over here, I went with the blue. So you can see that I took a cue from what I saw in Michael's and I have these plates that my aunt gave me. I've got quite a few of them. And so I decided to bring a few of them out, even though they're Christmas plates, they definitely don't have the red in them. They've got the blue, they look very winter. And I also kept that Billy Jacobs picture up there. So I kind of played off the horses. You can see I have a couple horses there. It's gonna look really great when the fire is running. And I just kind of play with things on the table. I put the pewter out to look old and vintage. This is pretty cool. So I have this that I picked up at the barn and I didn't have any more leg warmers. So I picked up one of my socks. I bought this brand new pair of socks on sale last year and they're nice and warm and I have never worn them. And I thought, well, that would be fun to just kind of stick them in there and it hides the candle. Those candles are actually Christmas candles with red and white. So I wanted to hide them. And that's a really cool place to put napkins. So. Yeah, a little rocker by the fire to sit there all cozy. And then on the mantle, I took the red and green out and I put lamb's ear in. And then I had a magnolia hearth in hand um, garland. I cut, picked up a couple at 50% off after Christmas. They have blue in them. So I put that on there too. And you know, it looks winter. It doesn't look Christmas with the blue. So the blue kind of matches the plates, but it's just a touch of color, not a whole lot. I kept that tree there for now, and I kept the angel up for now. I changed out the blue and green, the red and green wreaths for little green puffs, but, and then I took the garland off of the tavern, but left that little tree in there, and of course took out the Santas. So it's, you know, it's cleaner, it's more sparse, but it still has a sparkle that I need for the winter months. And it'll certainly be beautiful for New Year's Eve and um, get me through to March when I'll be changing it out with some Easter bunnies and other things. So I, I you know, I've, I've invested in these lanterns and I like them. I love the lanterns. They really work in the room been putting up things that are warm and cozy and sentimental and uh, decidedly winter and yet with a little touch of spring. So it's just really wonderful getting to know you guys and happy new year. I hope that next year brings you all the blessings that you so deserve.